Hello, and welcome to Boring Wildlife Documentary that nobody ever watches, but for some stupid reason the TV channel people keep showing reruns of it. Anyway, today's boring topic is, drum roll please, screw you! Population Dynamics. To understand population dynamics, you have to know what a population is. It's a group of organisms living in a certain space at a certain time. As shown, the penguins are a population. Rocks aren't. Penguin yes, rock no. Penguin yes, rock no. Penguin yes, rock no. Penguin yes, rock no. Penguin, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Populations go through three stages. One is growth. The next disability. And the final is decline. Population dynamics is a study of how populations change. Two population dynamics are size and density. Population size is a number of individuals at a specific place at a specific time. The density is how densely the populations well the population is dispersed. When there are four penguins on the table, it's dense, and when there are less, it's not as dense. Anyway, population spacing is how the populations are spaced. They can be spaced uniformly, as shown chained together. They can be randomly gossiping. Oh my gosh, really? And this one shows them in a feeding frenzy. Ooh, I wonder who they caught this time. Ah, uh, too bad. Another loyal cameraman goes to waste. Anyway, age structure also affects penguin populations. Young penguins cannot make populations grow. Old penguins cannot make populations grow either. Only adult penguins can make the population grow. And they need a male and a female penguin. That's why age structure is important. Goodbye, and thanks for watching our show.